welcome back and welcome into the new year. I wanted today's video to focus on mindset and why mindset matters. So this is for all my fellow creative entrepreneurs out there. Your mindset is foundational in terms of running your business and being successful and also personally, they're so interconnected. And I can tell you that from running my own um, design business, this has been one of the biggest personal development journeys I have ever been on. Hi, hello, my name is Asha Wynn. If you're new here, I'm an interior designer that helps female entrepreneurs elevate self and space through intentional design. So if this is the type of content you like and resonate with, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Anything is possible, but sometimes the thing that is holding us back from accomplishing our desire is not an external factor. It's often related to our mindset and the thoughts we have about ourselves, our business, and our potential success. So we're gonna change that. We're gonna build a new foundation so you start thinking in a more empowering way so that you can feel more confident and empowered to make better choices for your business this year. So right now you wanna grow your business, but you find that you're facing some roadblocks. Some of you might not have a lot of clarity of where you're going. Some of you might feel a little bit like you're stuck, like you've been going around in circles and the same patterns are not working or your systems are not working. And some of you just might um, be feeling failure and or just not seeing the type of results that you are hoping for um, in your business. And it's time, it's time to get results, it's time to make progress, it's time to have clarity, it's time to take action so that you can get the results that will have the best impact on your business. So if you have been struggling in any of these areas, I would bet that part of it, it has to do around your mindset and your thinking. The single most determiner of success is you. It all starts here. It starts with you. So if you want to get better results, you've got to think better thoughts. So I want to introduce this idea around a process or an exercise called thought work. If, if we believe that our thoughts are foundational to how we show up in the world, then this is an exercise we can do to start a shift in our perspective, which is the real miracle here, which is the real manifestation that our thoughts create our reality. So this thought work practice is all about being able to shift our thoughts into positive, proactive, um, ideas and, and, and wording to then have a better positive impact on our outcome. The first step is creating awareness of our thoughts. Our mind is in constant chatter and some of those thoughts are not very helpful. They are keeping us stuck and can be particularly unkind, especially when we are thinking or saying things about ourselves. So the first step is to start becoming aware of what we are thinking and what we are particularly thinking about ourselves. So I encourage you to get a journal and take some time and start catching the thoughts you were having around your business, your success, and your ability to grow. What thoughts are you having about your business that are not fact? And fact can be anything that can be proven in court. Um, write those down and start evaluating and becoming aware of those thoughts. Step number two is calling into question those thoughts. Look at your thoughts and ask yourself, are they factual or are they emotional? Are they things that are more drama and perceptions about ourselves? Or are there actual truth behind your thoughts or your statements? So often we think a thought is actually fact or we perceive that it is without really questioning it. For example, it's so hard to grow on Instagram right now because of the algorithm. Well, is it actually hard? Can, can no one grow on Instagram right now because of the algorithm? Is that a fact that you can prove in court? Or is this more an emotional idea or drama that maybe has other tentacles in, you know, maybe it's more of an excuse or fear of being on camera. Um, there's an underlying layer there that is making this thought um, a belief system for you right now, but it's not serving you. Another example of, you know, maybe a thought you might be having is, I'm too shy to ask for more money in my business or for my services. 
is this an actual fact or is this an emotional um, response and a belief system that you have that's not exactly true? Step number three is choose better thoughts. Look back at your statements and the thoughts about yourself and reframe them to, in a way that makes you feel more empowered and want to take actions in getting the results that you desire. So in our previous example where you might have the thought, I am too shy to ask for money from clients, a more empowering thought or a way to reword that would be, I'm becoming more confident to ask my clients for money or I'm becoming more confident to, confident to ask for money. See how that switches from a reactive state of, I don't know if I can do this, I'm too shy, I don't know how to do this, to more of a proactive statement. This is a much better way to think about yourself. Step number four is to consider some actions you can implement. So based off of what you have learned about your thoughts and yourself, what are some action items that you can take to get the results you want? So based off of our example, I am too shy <laughs> to ask for money and rewarding that to saying I am becoming more confident to ask for money. What are a few things you can do that could help you get the money that you want? Um, one of those things can be that you create a pricing structure or package that you send out to clients beforehand or you have a system or a written, let's say dialogue that you know how to ask um, for more money very clearly and with confidence. When you start to shift your perspective from reactive to proactive, your brain starts looking for solutions on how you can change the narrative and start brainstorming on ways that you can get the outcomes that you want. As I mentioned earlier in this video, success starts with you. So if you want to see growth in your business, if you want to stop feeling stuck, if you want to see better results, then I highly encourage you to start with your thoughts and start moving towards more empowering ways of thinking and taking action on those. Moving from reactive to proactive so that you can start getting the results that you desire. That wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed this and good luck to all my female entrepreneurs or creative entrepreneurs this year um, in having a successful business that you can thrive in. And if you're interested, um, you can head over to TikTok or Instagram and follow me there. And until next time, everyone, stay curious and stay creative. Thank you so much.